Hi guys, uh, I thought I'd do a little video tutorial, I might do more, I thought, uh, of how to do some stuff in After Effects, um, just the basics pretty much, which I use in most of my short film, short clips that I film with friends. Alright, so here we are in After Effects, and um, in this video I'm going to show you some basic uh, motion tracking. Yeah, in After Effects, which is actually quite easy. I mean, it may look kind of hard to use, but After Effects is, a, is actually a quite easy program compared to some other uh, visual effects programs. So I'm going to go down here and go into my, get my original footage here, which I filmed today, and drag it in. All right, I'm going to drag it down here to create a new composition in the timeline. So as you can see, if we scroll through here, it's just, if I play, it's a shaky camera, of a shot of a desk with some tools on it, a speaker, and letters, stapler, things like that. And so if I just play it back at full speed, there we go. So what I want to do is just show you an example of some motion tracking is say I want to add some text into this and I want the text to stay next to the screwdriver or no more likely the stapler so I'll make it stay next to the stapler so the stapler here so what we want to do is first let's go down here to your tracker window and let's go track motion Alright, so we've got our tracking point here, <clears throat> which is track point one, as you can see on here. So if we zoom in a bit, alright, let's move it across. Just select it and click it. Alright, now let's move it, say, onto. Oh, actually, this white mark right here looks like a good spot. I want the anchor point to be there. All right. And if you think the footage is going to be a bit blurry, you might want to make the selection a bit bigger and see the outer. So what it is, is that the inner square is the actual group of pixels that the program is going to track through each frame, like the next frame, the frame after. It's going to track where those group of pixels go, creating a animation, an animated um, line, if you will. And this outer square here is the area that it's going to search for these pixels in the next frame. So obviously, if there's going to be some fast motion or motion blur, which is going to skew the image, uh, you want it to be a bit bigger. Although on this uh, shot, it's not that blurry and it's not very fast moving. So that should be all right right there. So I'm just going to track this. You come, come down here and you press analyze forward and you press on it and that'll analyze. And it'll, it might, may take a while depending on the area and the speed of your computer. I'm actually filming this on my MacBook at the moment, so bear with me. I'm just going to uh, stop the recording and I'll be back in a sec when it's done. And we're there. Alright, so I'll stop that and I'm just going to cut. I accidentally pressed it again. And I'm going to cut this short. That's the area that, that's your workspace area kind of thing. And there. All right. So as you can see now, if we scroll back, we have keyframes on each frame, and it moves with it, as you can see. If we press play. So if we go back to here, alright, 
So now that we've tracked that, you have to you'll be in this tab here. You have to go back to your composition tab, which will look like this. The tracker won't appear on here. And so we want to put some text there. Let's get the text tool. Let's type it in, say, for instance, stapler. Uh, let's do uh, dual's a four. All right. So we bring it down here. Mm, I'll resize it a bit. I reckon that size, about that. And I'll put it around there. Okay, so now that we've got that, but if we play, if you notice, it stays in the center of the page. So what we want to do. You don't have to go to the back to the tab. You click on the tracker tool. You go motion source, and that'll be your movie. It'll auto select tracker one, the the, lead, the last tracker that you made. You go edit target, make sure it's on dual's of four, the layer, which is down there. Press OK. Go apply. Press OK. And it's it'll it'll have moved. The actual text would have moved, but if you look, it actually stays with the stapler now. Oh, it's gone back to full. If you look, it actually stays with the stapler now, as you can see. But if we want to move it, the actual position marks could be keyframes. So what we want to do is get this little arrow here, go to transformation, and as you can see, position is has keyframe on every frame. That's the movement. But if we want it to be over a bit where I had it the first time, you're going to have to edit the anchor point. So if we just go in here, figure out which way, change the anchor point here. And this is up and down. If we leave it there, it's now going to stay with it, but beside it, as you can see, which I reckon looks quite good. Right. Looks quite good. Okay, so now, what you want to do, that's pretty much it. Or well, there is to basic motion tracking. That's that's only position. So if the camera was to rotate, it would not rotate with the camera, which I'll probably cover in a later tutorial if anyone is interested in this kind of videos. So until next time, take care.